Hello, I'm Officer McHale with the Fort Myers Police Hello. Department. 27-year-old Cassie McHale joined the Fort Myers Police Department three years ago. She says her reason for becoming a cop sounds cliche. Wanting to help people, you know, giving back to the community, standing up for the people who are victims who can't stand up for themselves. Assigned to the night shift on road patrol. Coming up to back up a fellow officer on a traffic stop. Her supervisor, Lieutenant Roger Valdivia, says Officer McHale immediately showed great promise. Her character her, the way she conducts herself, she's always happy, no matter what the circumstances, she always has a smile on her face. Her attitude is just, uh, it, it's amazing. That helpfulness and can-do attitude motivated her actions the morning of February 3rd. Eight months pregnant, in plain clothes and driving her personal car, she was southbound from Charlotte County on I-75, heading to work. I saw some smoke up ahead, maybe 100 yards or so, um, and I wasn't sure what it was. And then I see an FHP officer running across the highway. She quickly realized the gravity of the situation. A three vehicle accident had sent this truck careening into a water retention pond. The FHP guy jumped in the water and I just, I couldn't help but follow suit. He was alone, you know, he had no one there to help him. and. I was on light duty, but I'm still a cop, you know, I still have to help. The gentleman was trapped down there in the water um, and the driver's seat seat belted in. Inside the vehicle. Inside the vehicle, right, completely submerged. Unconscious. Unconscious, yep. Bayshore Fire arrived on the scene shortly after Mikhail. I was behind her and, and I had another fireman. We were all basically pulling each other, trying to, to pull him from the top of the vehicle to get him to shore. Captain Underwood says her help was paramount to the rescue. We were able to revive him. Um, within a few minutes of, of, of advanced life support being on scene, we were able to revive him and, and, and bring him back. Then they went to check on the pregnant lady. I thought she was involved in the accident. Um, you know, there was this uh, young lady, um, you know, looked, looked to be me about seven or eight months pregnant, uh, wet. You know, I thought she was in the vehicle. Um, we're, you know, I'm going to evaluate her. She keeps telling me she's fine. When Chief Nisbet learned she was off duty, FMPD, on light duty. I was impressed. This is a retention pond area between an interstate. You don't know what's what's in the water. You don't know if the vehicle's going to roll. You don't know if it's going to slide down anymore. This is probably one of the most dangerous situations that we would deal with in the interstate. I was thankful that she was there to help and, and surprised that she was eight months pregnant and put herself in that, in that predicament and, and, and risk her life. Uh, to save another. It was, it was awesome. Her brave actions, so remarkable to the veteran fire chief, he immediately wrote a commendation letter to tell the Fort Myers Police Department. Her badge came through that day. She jumped in that water to help rescue that gentleman without any consider or care for herself or any outcome. She went to do what needed to be done. Despite everyone's most valiant efforts, two days after the rescue, 71-year-old Claudio Becerra Barragon passed away. Married 50 years, the father of six and grandfather of 14 died in the hospital, where loved ones at least had the chance to say goodbye. Eight weeks after the accident, Officer McHale and her husband welcomed a healthy, beautiful baby girl into the world. So this was her yesterday. She was absolutely <laughs> stunning. And what is her name? Allie, Allie Lynn. And then this was her in her little tractor outfit. Oh my God. <laughs> Mikhail is back to work on the front lines in Fort Myers, returning from maternity leave to be given a special assignment, the Violent Crimes Task Force. Anything on the Club Blue? Where she helps track down killers, drug dealers, and armed suspects. It's shocking to see some of the stuff we see, of course. You know, no human being wants to see the things that we have to see, but it was just, I honestly believe it's what I was meant to do. Lieutenant Valdivia nominates Cassie McHale for Officer of the Year for her heroic service above self. Sometimes you just act, you just do, and then later you think, oh man, that was intense, but I mean, that's just what we're trained to do. Her outstanding police work Thank and so her much. infectious enthusiasm on the job. We're hearing a lot about Cassie. She's got a long career ahead of her and she can only get better in time.